Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be the ultimate Hogwarts Legacy on Mac video. Let's get right into it. Here are the things we need to do to run Hogwarts Legacy on Mac. The first step is to install the Apple Game Porting Toolkit on Mac OS Sonoma. Only regular GPTK will work. You can't run Hogwarts Legacy with Crossover 22 or Whiskey. Unfortunately, it's not very easy to set up, but you can follow Andrew Tsai's awesome tutorial on how to set up GPTK and we'll have it working in no time. Once GPTK is ready to go, we can move on to the next steps. Next, we're going to apply a performance mod to greatly improve game performance. A big shout out to YouTube channel Some Mac Stuff for discovering this mod and sharing it with the Mac community. Some Mac Stuff is an awesome new channel focusing on Mac gameplay and Mac related content. They have awesome footage of Armored Core 6, Sea of Stars, and other great games. Definitely check out Some Mac Stuff on YouTube to help support their channel. Go to the link in the description and manually download the SLPF file. You'll need to make an account with Nexus Mods in order to download. Once the download is complete, go to your downloads folder, unzip the file, and open the folder. Alright, so I have my performance mod here, and now I need to apply it to the game. So I'm going to open a new finder window. I'm going to go to my user folder. I'm going to go into the folder My Game Prefix, then Drive C, Program Files x86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you should see your Hogwarts Legacy folder. Open Hogwarts Legacy, go into Phoenix, Plugins, Chroma SDK Plugin, Binaries, Windows 64. Now we're going to drag our modded file into the folder and replace the file that was there. Next, we're going to go back to the My Game Prefix folder, Drive C, Users, Crossover, App Data, Local, Hogwarts Legacy, Saved, Config, and then Windows No Editor. Scroll down and find GameUserSettings.ini. Right click it and open with text edit. Next, press Command F and we're gonna search full screen and hit enter. Where it says full screen mode equals one, we're gonna erase the one and put a zero. And where it says last confirmed full screen mode equals one, we're gonna erase the one and put a zero. Next, put the cursor at the end of last confirmed full screen mode equals zero and press enter and type the following. Preferred full screen mode equals zero. Then go to file and save. Lastly, since this is not my first time playing the game, I need to delete a specific game folder that gets created every time the game is played. You can see when I try to launch the game from Steam, nothing happens. To delete the game folder, go to your user folder, My Game Prefix, Drive C, Program Data, right click the Hogwarts Legacy folder and delete it. Then empty your trash. Now we're ready to launch the game. Let's check out some gameplay.
捜索完了。